everybody says perch. How important is networking? Um, well, um, networking is uh, it's it's reason. It, well, I mean, in comics, it's both uh, as important as you think, as important as people let on, and also maybe not as important as some people make out. So, okay, that that sounds like the classic perch take. Okay, there there you have it. Why shit? Why am I adopting this perch take stuff? That is a bunch of garbage. Uh, this whole perch take thing is it's not true. So I, I gotta I gotta I gotta go over there and kind of reconcile with this guy. Get him to anyway, who who invented this perch take stuff. I I shake my fist at you, sir. Anyway. Um I don't know. I talked to that guy in mail plenty, so yeah, it's fine. Uh anyway. Where was I going with this? Uh networking. So you know so here's the, the important thing. In any job, in any profession, if you work wherever you happen to work, you're, you're in pharmaceutical, you're in tech, you're in comics, you're in business, you're in insurance, I, I don't know what you're doing in your life. Networking is important. Networking is something that, that matters, a, a big deal. Networking is typically um, making connections, um, you know, basically getting known by more people, putting you and what you can do into the consciousness of some other people who work in this space you want to work in. So that when a job opportunity comes up or something that might, you know, kind of be a good fit for you, it's not just you having to rep yourself. Other people are also repping for you because you've made yourself known. Um, networking is basically somebody who, I mean, let's say there's somebody who, you know, doesn't know how to put, you know, bolts in boxes, but they know of somebody who can do that job and they know of somebody who needs that job done. So many people will serve as connectors. They'll say, well, I, I don't put bolts in boxes, but, you know, hey, you do. And here's a company that needs some bolts and some boxes. So, you know, let's let, I'll make an introduction and, you know, the guy gets bolts in boxes and you get a paycheck for doing bolts and boxes. And I don't know how I came onto the bolts and boxes analogy, but that's in, in you know, that's heart what networking is. And whatever field of uh, work you're in, the uh, the idea that, you know, people can kind of team up to mutually help, help each other out is a big deal. And, and if I could talk personally for a minute, that's been a big part of what I've done. The, the, the kind of crazy part in the world of networking is it's easy to feel like, you know, you're being taken advantage of if you don't understand the game. Um, I've connected a lot of people to other people. I'm always happy to do it. In many cases, I in, in one case in particular, I connected... Uh, an artist to a company, um, not not comics related, but you know, game graphic design related, and that artist got the job at the company and was got a good paycheck. But more importantly than that, got a bunch of stock options. And then, like six months later, that company was basically was bought. And this person who I'd helped out, who was kind of poor, struggling artist, found themselves with a two million dollar check because it just it worked out. They they got some options. They got a bot. And I remember one of my you know, former friends, not a current friend, but I, the reason I say former is because the guy was always kind of a troublemaker, was like, didn't that piss you off? Didn't that piss you off? That guy got a big check and you got nothing. And I, I hated that whole mentality. I hated that whole behavior because it, uh, that's not what networking is all about. Networking is about, you know, especially when you're a connector type personality, it's about, you know, you can prove, you know, everybody wins. The person who's doing the connection is proving their value by showing that they know people and they can help people out. And, and it is almost always, not always, but almost always paid forward. Uh, the person who got the $2 million, you know, every time I'm, uh, you know, in town with them and visiting, that that person, uh, that, you know, that, that guy, uh, you know, treats me to an amazing dinner, like a $1,000 dinner. So, and, and, you know... It's, it's good. I feel like I have a friend. I don't begrudge that they got a good check. The second you start to do that, you're not good for networking anymore. You, you, break, the, the, you break the cycle. Well, in comics, uh, there's a lot of networking that certainly goes on. But there's a lot of jealousy that goes on as well. And it's been a very common story that I meet somebody who you know was one of these connector-type roles who helped bring somebody in and they got a job. And, uh, you know, the, the person did well for themselves and the connector feels bitter about it and feels jealous. And in many cases, and we've seen it, 
uh, sometimes then kind of flips and tries to tear the person down that they helped. Uh, several of these scandal stories, and I think, um, you know, arguably, the Warren Ellis story was, was, you know, wrapped up in this to some extent. A lot of things were going on there. But at least part of that was that, uh, you know, that, that some people felt like they didn't get the kind of connection that others got, and so they attacked the system. They attacked Ellis. Now, Ellis, I, I, I still maintain, and every time I talk about Ellis, somebody comes up in the comments and says he does he did nothing wrong, and, I, you know, that's up to you. Yeah, I think he did a few things wrong. I think Ellis understands that to at least some extent, and I think if, um, I, I guess I just say this as general advice, if you do what Ellis did, in your company, there's a good chance you're going to get in trouble. So, you know, for what it's worth, you, you know, try, don't, don't do that. Like you should, you should avoid doing that. So you don't get in trouble, like I, I, for your own self-interest, but networking in comics can be very powerful and can be very helpful because it is to some extent a who, you know, industry. It is a place where, you know, there's a lot of things that need done. And it is also a case where the networking is not happening uh, properly, meaning I, I, there's, there's a lot of jealousy and a lot of suspicion that goes on within comics where people don't help themselves or they don't, they don't help others because they're worried that if they help somebody else, it will take an opportunity away from them. But to have a healthy industry, uh, you need to have more networking. You need to have people sharing and helping out and, you know, passing opportunities along to other people because overall it grows the pot. It grows comics as a business. And if everyone kind of jealously holds on to what's theirs, um, it doesn't grow. It tends to remain stagnant. And we see a lot of that in comics. I would argue, by the way, that if you look at comics in the eighties, when I would die, you know, I think things were healthier, there was better networking. You have a lot of stories. I mean, just go look at kind of some of the stuff that Larry Hama did. Um, he he was personally responsible for a lot of people getting gigs and coming into comics. Uh, there were others. Louis Simonson brought a lot of people in. Uh, there there were. I mean, you can go. I, I've done interviews uh, with Joe with uh, like uh, Jim Salakrup, uh, Glenn Greenberg. Uh, there's there's been a bunch of people who in, in part of their story, in part of the interview, one of the common threads is that, you know, they had a healthy network. They, they, will, they can rattle off names of people they helped get jobs. They helped get gigs going with. And the more that that system is healthy, the healthier comics is. I think comics requires networking. It needs it in order to be everything it can be. And I think uh, this... It, it's we're, I, I, I'm not sure exactly when things changed, but about 10, 15 years ago, maybe maybe less than that, um, comics became more click based. It became more group based. You had to, there was still networking, but it, it it kind of shrunk. It was more like if you get in and if you do the right things and if you kind of pay homage in certain ways and if you pay your dues into a system then maybe we'll help you network a little bit, but you have to, re you have to remember kind of who your, you know, who your benefactor was. And that is a relatively newer, abnormal, and ultimately self-defeating way that network occur, that networking occurs. If you go to other industries, healthy networking is where there's a, a really healthy transfer of information. Unhealthy networking is where there's clicks and there's uh, clubs that you have to belong to and kind of pay your dues in order to get it, get advancement. Those tend to always go poorly. And I think comics has uh, tilted more into that camp than the other camp. And I think to it, to its detriment, I think at this point we're, we're uh, reductive. It's, 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 we're reducing opportunities rather than increasing them. But uh, that, that's just a bit about network. I think network is very important, but it needs to be healthy networking. And I, I, I I hope I didn't lose a bunch of people with this video. I'm sure there's people who are nodding along. They get it. They, they understand kind of the difference between the two. Um, 
and maybe you see it in your own company what you're, you're doing. Um, others, uh, this just sounded like a very boring conversation about uh, networking. So, uh, you know, there you go. I apologize uh, to those people. Sorry. Sorry for not being more entertaining. I, I don't really mean that apology, but uh, there, there you have it. Anyway, um, what are your thoughts on networking in particular? I would like for you to think about what you have in your work. In one way or another, probably all of us are connected into networking in some form or some fashion. So think about how it works in your company. Is it healthy? Is it unhealthy? And then think about uh, basically what we have in, in comics. And you can start to pull out some of the differences. Frankly, it explains a lot of the weird behavior that sometimes feels unexplainable. Anyway, uh, that's enough for me. Uh, like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Uh, put your opinions in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for listening.